this is your boy Joe back at it again codingphase.com listen so now we're going to go into the project itself what exactly is it that we're going to build I told you the different examples that we can take inspiration from and try to see how they created their you know the little microservices that they built for other people but how can we do that for ourselves so this is something that I've been wanting to do uh, basically coinbase is it's basically it's like a a service where you could buy and sell different bitcoins right and it has an api to show you charts and you know the price that uh of a bitcoin over the past year the past uh you know four or five years and it gives you all that information right but one thing that they don't do is tell you how much profit you actually made i know it sounds crazy it sounds ridiculous it's like why don't they have this very simple thing well i don't know i guess somebody forgot i don't really know the answer but all i know is that 10 million people actually sign up to coinbase so that means that a lot of people are actually online looking for this how to calculate your bitcoin profits how do you do that right so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna solve that issue for everybody we hear problem solving guys you know say we had the guy create a uh, CSS border radius generator it saves the time for a lot of people we're gonna save time by creating this let's go into it okay this is going to be a regular landing page right and it's gonna have all the keywords you know like calculate uh, Bitcoin profits calculate cryptocurrency profits all free right so those are the things that we're going to focus in the landing page but for now I'm just gonna give you this little diagram of how things is going to work first of all we have the user the user comes to this page he puts in a date he puts in how much they spent all right we don't have to have them sign up for anything we don't want them to register to anything we just want them to come and use our service hey come here right we calculate the total profit we do an API call that I'm I'm gonna give you guys the link I'm gonna give you all the information once we get into the project itself of the API pretty much after we do that we basically we calculate the total profit we show it to the user on another page we pretty much could use the same page because we're gonna use react it's just the page is going to change and we basically going to show them some ads and at the same time we're gonna show them the profit the total profit that they made okay so for example somebody comes in let's say uh, my name is Johnny right so Johnny came in in July 29 2015 he bought one Bitcoin at two hundred ninety dollars and thirty five cents right how much is that right now currently okay is that fourteen thousand dollars so how much profit is that all right that's all we're going to do we're not gonna do nothing too crazy this is not very complicated the idea behind this is to creating a small service for people right there's a lot of people that are not tech savvy like me and you they're not here to come here and be like oh man how much is a Bitcoin and let's calculate it from you know two three years ago to now and this and that people don't care about that they just want to Google it and say hey I want to Google Bitcoin profit calculate my Bitcoin profit right so that's what we're gonna give them the answer for that now let's come back over here to this area so once we give them the the number right let's say for that's just for one transaction they bought one Bitcoin now they're like oh cool this is cool this is a, a nice little service and it's great it's free we don't have to do anything now if they want to keep track of all of their transactions then we have to sign up for something right in the same page we're gonna have ads and we also going to have a link to the affiliate service to coinbase right coinbase pays you ten dollars per uh one hundred dollars that somebody use like let's say somebody buys a hundred dollars worth of bitcoin you get ten dollars for that now not everybody's gonna sign up but once every two days or once every three days depending how much traffic you get somebody's gonna sign up with coinbase and because they use your link you're going to get money back 
All right. Now, what we really care about is the ads. All right. Most people, they don't have ad blockers. They're not like me and you. We're tech savvy. We have ad blockers on, on our browsers and this and that. Personally, I don't, but I know a lot of you guys do. Um, yeah, so basically ad blocks, right? So people don't have that. Now, those are the people that we really want to target, right? When, when it comes down to it, the people that are going to be searching for this stuff, they're not going to have ad blockers. They are just the casual user, you know, the mom and pop who, you know, somebody told them, hey, uh, you want to join and you want to buy some Bitcoin here, go to Coinbase. And now they don't even know how much profit they made. All right. So that's our targeted audience. OK, now we basically give them two options. Hey, we let them create an account where they can add all their transactions for a fee, which means we could say, hey, we're going to charge you, uh, let's say, $2, $3, $4 a month, right, for you to be able to use our service. Because this is such a dumb service that right now, currently, at the uh, where we at right now, and the service that we're giving them, this is such a simple thing that you can't come in and be like, hey, sign up to us for $20 a month. No, nah, you give them something so cheap that they'll be like, yeah, cool, I'll sign up for that. Who cares? It's $3. You get what I'm saying? Like, so now for $3, they sign up to your service. You know, there's going to be thousands and thousands of people that are going to come in. Not everybody's going to sign up. Only a few people is going to sign up, right? But because this thing is so hot right now, you're going to get a lot of traffic, all right? Now, because you're getting a lot of traffic, this, that means a lot of people are going to sign up. But it's really a, a really small percentage compared to the amount of people that come into the website and actually use the service. And that's fine. We make our money from the ads that they see. And that's fine. So either way, either they sign up or they don't sign up, we still make money. Now, is this going to make you a millionaire? Probably not. But from this little thing, if you get the right audience, you get the right people, you get, you know, the right momentum, this little simple app can become a multi-billion dollar company literally like this is how things work you start with a very small idea you see how it works you see how the market adjusts to it do people want it is it on demand if they want it then you scale it now you add other features to this yeah now we have okay you could check your transactions hey you have litecoin now you could add litecoin now you could add ethereum now you could add a whole bunch of different um crypto cryptocurrencies so you get what i'm saying like pretty much sky's the limit but you have to build this prototype and get it out there and that's what we're going to do all right so i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you guys really enjoy this and trust me let's just do this you're gonna see how this thing actually works and how you could actually make money and then you could apply this to other ideas that you can come up now like i said don't try to build something that's humongous, something that you're like, oh man, what if Facebook did this and that? Nah, those those type of plans, those are not the plans that's going to make you successful, right? You want to be able to make five to ten different little projects like this, that each one of them is making you $2,000, $3,000 per month, and then you're going to have all that money stack up. You know what I mean? Like 10 projects like this making you $3,000 each. You're talking about $30,000 a month. You get what I'm saying? That gives you the freedom that you want and the freedom that you need. You know, not only can you come in and, and become a successful developer in a company, but at the same time, as you're working in a company, you have all of these other projects that are building on by themselves. You know, they easy to maintain. They're very simple. You know, the site goes down, you could fix it up on your lunch break. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's that simple, that easy. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.